In this lesson, I'll show you how to solve another stoichiometry question. This is question number two. Magnesium hydroxide, the active ingredient in milk of magnesia, neutralizes stomach acid, primarily HCl, according to the reaction shown below. Notice that this reaction is balanced. What mass of HCl in grams is neutralized by a dose of milk of magnesia containing 3.26 grams? The first thing that I want to do is write down everything that has been provided. And also keep in mind that if your chemical equation was not balanced, you would have to do that first. That's very important. So we're told that the mass of MgOH is right here. So I'll write that in right underneath. M for mass is equal to 3.26 grams. We want to find out the mass of HCl. The first thing that we have to do here is find the molar mass of MgOH2. And we can do that using the molar masses that are found on the periodic table for each atom. We have MgOH subscript 2. So we'll take this number, multiply it by 2 times 16 plus 2 times 1 decimal 008. Let's write that down for reference. We have 2 4 decimal 03 plus 16 times 2. And the reason why I'm multiplying it by 2 is because of this subscript. Pretend that we're distributing the subscript to both of these atoms. Plus 1 decimal 008 multiply 2. 2 as well. We have 24 decimal 03 plus 32, that's 16 times 2, plus 1 decimal 008 times 2. This gives us 58 decimal 046. The reason why I'm finding the molar mass is so that I can multiply this number somehow with that number so I can get the number of moles. So once again, with a big M for molar mass, we have 58 decimal 046. As mentioned, I need to multiply these numbers somehow to get the number of moles, which I'll use the letter N for. I'll take 3.26 grams and multiply it by the flipped version of this number that's in orange. So instead of the moles being at the bottom, where we have one mole at the bottom, it'll be at the top. One mole over 58.046 grams. Notice that by orienting this number in this way, the grams units cancel out, and we can use our calculator to do the rest. 3.26 times 1, which is the same thing, divided by 58.046. This gives me 0 0.05616. 0 0.05616. And the units of this number are in moles. Now remember, we started off with a number, 3.26, that had three significant figures. Although this number, the one that I just wrote in black, has four. Keep in mind that the last significant figure is this one. Although I'll keep that last six just to prevent any sort of rounding errors. Now that we found the number of moles for MgOH2, what I'll do is compare the amount of moles of this compound to the amount of moles of this compound. Notice that there is a 1 to 2 ratio. I'm looking at the coefficients. A 1 to 2 ratio. Let me write that down. 1 to 2. This 1 represents MgOH2 and this 2 represents HCl, moles of each. Underneath this 1, I'll write down 0 0.05616 because this number corresponds to magnesium hydroxide. And underneath this 2, I'll write down x because that's our unknown. We've actually created a ratio here. Think of two fractions, one fraction on the left side and one fraction on the right side, like this. And they're being separated by an equal sign, or this colon. To solve such a fraction, we cross multiply. We take this number, multiply it by 2, take this variable, multiply it by 1. Here's what happens if you do that. You end up with x, because x times 1 is x, is equal to 2 times this number. 2 times 0 0.05616, and this gives me 0 0.11232. Remember, nothing after this 2 is significant, so I'll put a dot right there so I don't forget. And this represents the number of moles of HCl. N, and I'll 
put a line through here to divide the two. N here is 0.11232 moles. Now I need to find the molar mass of HCl, which isn't hard to do. I'll use the values that I have here. HCl, I'll take 1.008, multiply it by 1. I don't need to show that. Plus, Cl is not written here, but the molar mass of chlorine is actually 35.48. 35.48, and that number we don't need to multiply by anything either. Using our calculator, 1.008 times 35.48, and this gives me 35.76. 35.76, and let's include one more number for good measure, 3. Grams per mole, I'll write that up there too. And the last thing that I need to find is its mass. And I can do that by multiplying the two numbers that I'm highlighting. Because by multiplying these two numbers, you eliminate the moles and you just get the amount of grams. Using our calculator once more, multiplying this number now by 0 0.11232, we end up with 4.016. Now since we have to have three significant figures, this one will become a two, so we have 4.02 grams. What this number means is that if we start with 3.26 grams of magnesium hydroxide, 4.02 grams of hydrogen chloride, or in other words, hydrochloric acid, is neutralized. And there you have it. That is how to solve stoichiometry problems. Make sure to watch yet another video where we tackle another example.